my beautiful sweets. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you guys so very, very much for all the support you show this channel. Happy Saturday, almost Sunday Eve. I've been quite busy today, you guys, but I feel so much better with a good night's rest. Even though I did still have to get up a little early today, earlier than I normally would have, <clears throat> excuse me, because I had to um, run to the pharmacy today to get my insulin for next week before the pharmacy closed, and they closed early on Saturdays. But anywho, that's neither here nor there. As per usual, I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. It's not nearly as big as it was yesterday. So without further ado, let's jump right into this Dollar Tree haul. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to let you know is that this Be Pure that I showed you yesterday in my la in yesterday's haul, the Lip Contour um, kit, matte lip liquid lipstick and lip liner. I thought this was going to be my jam, you guys. I really, really was looking forward to it, but no, mm -mm. no, it did not work out. It looked like I had been eating vanilla ice cream or something and the lip liner doesn't really show up on either one of these. I am wearing this one tonight and normally I do not wear red lipstick. This is more of my older sister, Lena's um, color, but I thought it looked kind of cute. You guys let me know in the comments what you think about it, but I did like this one, which I thought I was going to like this one, but the lip liners themselves, because they're the same colors, they really, really don't show up, you know, so, but anyway, I like this one. This one is the, um, what is it? It's Red Rebel, and when they say matte, y'all... They mean matte, okay? When you put this stuff on, make sure you have some lip gloss or something nearby real quick because your mouth, your lips will freeze up, okay? Because this is the lip gloss that I use every day. This is, uh, I think it's Stila. Yeah, this is my Stila lip gloss. I've hauled this already. I love this lip gloss right here, you guys. I didn't get to polish my nails, you guys. Forgive me, but... <clears throat> I have to wash my hair, and there's no need of me polishing my nails first and then washing my hair. So, anywho, but yeah, just my personal experience with these. You may get this one and absolutely love it. You never know. It's different strokes for different folks. But I was a little surprised because this was the one that I actually liked, and I was going to give this one to my older sister. But anyhow... Let's move on and jump into this Dollar Tree haul today. I have a hodgepodge of stuff as per usual. I have a few little um, food items and, you know, Dollar Tree stuff, okay? So without further ado, I did finally find the Home Bright Dish Detergent in the Citrus Mist. I showed you guys the lavender one and I absolutely love it. I really, really love it, but y'all know, I'm a citrus girl, okay? <laughs> And when I saw that they had another version of the dish detergent from the Home Bright, this is plant-based items, you know. All the Home Bright stuff is plant-based. It is uh, phytolate-free and it is dye-free. And this is with aloe vera in a 16.9 fluid ounce. You guys all probably seen these already floating around the Dollar Tree. But instead of buying dish detergent, I did buy two of these so I got one in the lavender and I got one in the citrus and you can tell when they're on the shelf because the lavender has a, a nice purple glow to it so anyway I did pick up that okay I found it at my large Dollar Tree and then I saw it over at my small Dollar Tree so they both had it and I showed you guys these this is a repurchase because I gave one bottle to one of my coworkers that, well, it's really for all of us, for the ladies' room, because some people go in there and, you know, it can get a little, mm -hmm. instead of flushing and flushing and flushing, I guess they let it sit, but we need some, what is it, poopsie daisy or oopsie daisy, or whatever, but I haven't um, found my other stuff, so I've really been enjoying these Bottle Up Joys, so I bought another one of the Sparkling Lychee and Pines. Because I gave this one to a co-worker. So this is the Bottle Up Joy Sparkling Lychee and Pine. And it really, really does smell good to me. 
I mean, like I said, different strokes for different folks. And then I got another one of the Paradise. No, this is the one I didn't get. So I picked up the Paradise Peach and Mango. And it's bottle of joy made with essential oils and upcycled ingredients. And they're all four fluid ounces. And they're very, very pretty. And again, I'm missing my time. <laughs> I don't notice that stuff, y'all, until I get home. But I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so, so uh, weird in orange. But it actually says Paradise Peach and Mango. And my top might be over here somewhere. Let me see. Mm, oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> now, I know I didn't really need these, y'all. But I wanted them because they really smell good. This one smells very, very nice. So, I did pick up those two items. And then, let me see what else. Okay, my sweets. I know if, um, I personally have been seeing a lot of the Nordic products coming out with, like, laundry detergent sheets, um, the what, what is it called? The fragrance boosters in the small little boxes and in the containers. I first saw them on, um, somebody's channel, and then I started seeing them on everyone else's, but... Well, almost everyone else's, but they haven't hit my store. We got the Nordic air fresheners, the three different air fresheners, but we haven't received the other stuff yet. But I found in my large Dollar Tree the other day, this says HE, Long Lasting Freshener In Wash Fragrance Booster Pods. This is a 10 count and it's a dollar twenty-five. And I was like, Yes, please. I will like this. I would like to try these. Y'all know I love the in-wash fragrance boosters. I've been buying the $5 ones I showed you guys in a previous haul. And I got both of the um, varieties that I found. And I love them. But they still aren't like our other ones, you guys. The downy ones that we used to get. I wish the Dollar Tree would bring those back. But I saw these and it's a 10 count. Okay. And I was like, okay, I want to see what these are looking like. I did buy two bags because I like fragrance boosters. They just make your clothes smell so nice. I'll be sitting in anywhere in public and I'll be like, ooh, my shirt smells so good. Because <laughs> I very rarely dry my shirts. I always just wash them and put them on hangers and hang them in my laundry closet. So this is what it looks like, okay? And you get 10 Oh my goodness. Oh, y'all. <laughs> if you can find these, I don't know what the Nordic smells like, but if you can find these, this is, a, I think, a Dollar Tree. Um, Yes, it is a Greenbrier product. And it, like, oh my goodness. I have to do a load of laundry tonight. And I'm telling you guys, I'm going to use one of these and I'll let you guys know in the next haul how I like them. But they smell, you couldn't smell them through the package in the store, but I picked up two of them and I saw them at both my large Dollar Tree and my small Dollar Tree. So if I like them, yeah, I will repurchase some more of those because they smell heavenly soft, heavenly, okay, enough of that. All right, let's see what's next. We got a few little food items and y'all correct me if I'm wrong because... I don't believe I saw these last year. I think these are new this year, even though they don't say new. But it's possible that we had these last year. But they are from Concord Fresh Success. It says, just add sweet potatoes, butter, and water. It's a sweet potato and yam glaze mix. Did we have this last year? Because we had so many of these little packages that I never even used. Well, I think I used a couple of them. But this says, wake up your fresh fruits and vegetables. Also makes great glazed carrots. It's a net weight of two ounces. And it's best before or best boy is probably in the package. Yes, it is. It is. Oh, my goodness. I can't see that. It says, best buy. Oh, boy. Yeah, Best Buy 926. I believe that's what it said. But it looks like this. It's um, Fresh Success Sweet Potato um, Yam Glaze. Now, I make my own, been making my own my whole life. I don't know any other way 
you know, but I am like, how about making life a little bit easier and trying this, you know, <clears throat> and I'll do a mock dish before Thanksgiving first with some of the sweet potatoes that I have already in my pantry because the Dollar Trees are flooding now with all the um, Thanksgiving food items like the Bruce's sweet potatoes. If you've seen any of my walkthroughs, you've seen them, okay? They have all have nice, beautiful end caps full of your traditional Thanksgiving, the dressing, the stuffing, if you call it stuffing, um, mac, mac and cheese, green beans, corn, etc. But yeah, um, I found these and I did pick up two because like I said, I want to do a mock dish first to see if they'll be suitable for Thanksgiving because if not, my family will kill me. <laughs> Especially my younger sister Nettie, because she makes a mean, mean sweet potato um dish. So I did pick up those. I thought I picked up two of these, but I have to go back and get another one because my sister Nettie loves these. This is the Pillsbury Gingerbread Cookie Mix. This is 6.5 fluid ounces. It's a limited edition, and it says it makes 12 cookies. Now... I think I purchased this for her last year, and I think she really liked it. And it says, best if used, before, used by December 19th, 2025. And it looks like this. Pillsbury, we had this last year. It's not a new item, but um, I love gingerbread. I don't know about anybody else, but I love gingerbread anything, okay? Used to eat those ginger snap cookies like they were going out of, out of town. So I picked up those, and I did get two bags of these. I really thought... <clears throat> that I had two bags of the gingerbread. It might be in my car. It might have fallen out of a bag or something. But anywho, I digress. Okay, so here we have the Pillsbury Funfetti Santaverse, the Elf on the Shelf Hot Cocoa Cookie Mix. What? <laughs> Hot Cocoa Cookie Mix. It says it makes 12 cookies. It's a net weight of 6.5 fluid ounces. Don't they look delicious? Oh, man. I mean, you don't even have to make cookies. You can make a whole, like, pie dish of this and serve it up like a pie like I typically do. And this is all you need is three tablespoons of softened butter and one tablespoon of water. Now, that's my kind of baking, okay? Even though I was a baker for life, I don't ever, ever want to do that again because I have PTSD from that, okay? Because I started back in the day where we were doing everything from scratch, okay? And they used to say, time to make the donuts. That was me. We actually made the donuts, okay? It was no par baked. It wasn't frozen. It wasn't any of that stuff. So, anywho, whew, just went back there for a minute, y'all. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> but, yes, I picked up two um, bags of this because they have a lot of the um, Christmas stuff coming out now, the gingerbread houses and some other stuff. I think I bought a few more other items. Oh, yeah, I did. It's right here. Duh. <laughs> I did pick up this. Even though I buy them every year, I never even use them. But I plan on using this one this year. This is the Bakersfield Build Your Own Pre-Baked Gingerbread House Kit. The kit includes icing ready to use, sprinkles, confetti, and sugar pearls. And it's a net weight of five fluid ounces. And it is best by or best before expires 625 and you know you got to make up your own icing make it a little bit stiffer so to hold because the icing that comes in this one yeah it's a little wonky <laughs> but i think they're so cute for just a dollar 25 and they're real easy to assemble so like i said make up your own icing all you need is some powdered sugar and some water okay and make up your own icing and make it thick so that the house will stick together. So I did pick that one up. Okay. Okay, my sweets. I showed you guys this. This was the Pure Kick um, Strawberry Watermelon Hydrate. Zero sugar, low sodium. And you get six sticks. I showed you this in a previous haul. And I really, really do like this. But then I found now they have this one. Pure Kick Concord Grape. And it's hydrate. And zero, low sodium. And you get six packets. And the best buy on here is July of 2026. So I found that. I only got one so far. But if I like it, I will get more. Because 
These are really, really good and they're hydrate and that's what I need the most because the slightest exertion of any kind and I'm breaking out in a sweat. So I need hydration. So I did pick up this one after I saw it and I found this on Raleigh Road in my local Dollar Tree. And then I found these at the smaller Dollar Tree and my two sisters love the ginger um, candy that we get from Roses normally. Even though they shrinkflated it, they shrunk the bag <laughs> and went up on the price. We used to get be able to get a big bag of the ginger candy um, from Roses for a dollar. And yeah, like I said, they shrunk the bag, cut it almost in half, and then they um, upped the price. So anyway, I saw these at my smaller Dollar Tree. And these are by Prince of Peace Original Ginger Chews. And it's 100% natural. The whole bag is a net weight of 2 ounces. It says it's non-GMO, certified gluten-free. It's vegan. And I don't know what that K means. But yeah, the um, Best Buy is April 3rd of 2026. So they're small little bags. I don't know how many you get in a bag. But if you can see it. These are really, really good when you're in church and you get that little dry call for whatever. So, yeah, they look pretty much very small, just like the ones that we get almost in, um, I think roses might be a little bit bigger than these. But for $1.25 at the Dollar Tree, and you don't have to wait until Wednesday on Senior Citizen, uh-oh, I'm already seeing an issue. I did not leave these in the car and there's paper stuck to it oh it's a chew okay i get it but the paper is still stuck to it it kind of looks like dried fruit that's a ginger chew but on the back it's got some paper stuck to it i think it's, what do you think is that paper or is it in the candy i'm not sure let me open one more and see if they all look like that because yeah that's a little concerning. Oh, no, they all look like that. So, I don't know if you guys can see it. looks a little frosty. But, yeah, I have to try that off camera and see how they like it. I'll let you guys know. But I did pick up two bags just to try them. And if I like them, I'll go back and get some more. I'm not really, really into the ginger, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, right? Okay, okay my sweets. I tried one of those ginger chews off camera. And I would not advise you to put any one of those in your mouth while you're in church because, like it said, it's a chew. And I mean, it takes a lot of chewing, but it is delicious, you guys. It tastes just like a ginger snap cookie. It was so good. But yes, it's a chew. It's not like a lozenger, like the... The candy that we get from Roses, but they are good. If you see them in your Dollar Tree and you like ginger, pick them up because they were really, really good. Okay. And the next item I saw, which looked new to me, it kind of looked, yeah, it looked new to me. I'm just going to say it looked new to me. It didn't say it was new. It's a Freeman 2-pack. This says globally sourced Hawaii single origin salt. This is a Hawaiian black salt, two-step peel plus mask. It's a deep cleansing um, mask. It says step one, instantly exfoliates and smooths. So you get step one is one peel pad. And step two is a sheet mask, cleanses, cleanses skin for luminous complexion. And you get two in a pack for $1.25 instead of one and there's your pad and there's your mask right there and then of course they have the directions on the back so i thought that was pretty cool i was like oh this looks really really interesting and new to me <laughs> and i found this over at the small dollar tree as well and then i got these two i told you guys yesterday when i was showing you the christmas cards that i had already picked up two Two more packs um, from the large Dollar Tree. Because when I see these 12 packs... Hold on, I got a phone call. Okay, I'm right Sorry about that. When I see these 12 packs of Christmas cards, even though they now carry them in the large boxes, I still don't know how many, 
in the Dollar Tree Plus section for $5, but I had already bought these. So these were the ones that I picked up from my large Dollar Tree, and you got the cards. They're so beautiful, y'all. I just love sending out Christmas cards. And you have these two right here. You take a minute and you can read what it says on the outside and on the inside. And then you have these two right here. So I'm not real particular about the fa la la, but it's still cute. Fa la 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 la. Merry Christmas and warm wishes for a happy new year. That's okay. And then the tis the season to be jolly. And then the gnome one says, good tidings and comfort and joy. There's no place like home for the holidays. And hoping a very a very happy holiday is headed your way with the Christmas truck. So I did get that. And you know, like I told you yesterday, you get the cards, the envelopes, and the little stampers. So I think that's a good deal for a $1.25. And then I picked up this one because it's just traditional. It just looks so traditional to me. Merry Christmas. Okay. And I love it. And on the back, it has, <clears throat> excuse me, Merry Christmas. Sending you warm hugs and best wishes for a magical Christmas and bright new year. Then the snowman says, let it snow on the outside. On the inside, it says, wishing you peace, happiness, and all the blessings the seasons brings. I like that one. Then the, it's the most wonderful time of the year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And then the last one is Joy to the World. May the magic of Christmas fill your heart with joy and love. And they are all Greenbrier. Um, they are a Greenbrier product. So this one looks like this. Very, very pretty. And I couldn't resist. If I had to saw the melanated ones first... I probably wouldn't even bought these, but I am kind of glad I did. So I have a nice variety of um, Christmas cards to send out. And then these are a few items that have been sitting here for a while. And I wish, well, it didn't matter. My girlfriend Odessa is looking for the cat one in this in this um, collection. This is the Deco Time. It says, what does that say? Numb. Nom Creative, Cre Creative. it's Deco Time in Non-Creative, non this is made in China, and like I said, when I found these items at the Zebulon store, I believe, I was tardy to the party. It was pretty, pretty much cleaned out, but I did find one of the shaped stamps that I did like, and it's the little Yorkie with the, um, the crown on, with the, <laughs> with the crown on it. And I thought it was so cute. My girlfriend Odessa is looking for the kitty, the cat one, but they were gone. I wanted the the bus one, but of course, I'm sure that was the first one that um that sold was that bus. And these have not hit my stores in my area yet. I don't know what's taking so long. It could be a year from now. Like I just found those Shore Fresh, you know, turntables and. They came out last year, so you never know. You you may never see it. You know you don't know. But anyway, this is embossed stickers, and I really like these. These are so pretty. Um, I got this one, which is uh, don't know. <laughs> it just says it's a set of two, and all I had to do was see the butterfly and the bumblebee. Even though they're very small, I just loved them. So it looks like this at the top. This is what they're calling them, Deco Time, Deco Time Crafts. And these are two sheets, and for all you crafters, planners, these are perfect for those types of things. Or if you just like to decorate little things like your phone or something, you know, so you get two sheets of each. So I got that one, and then I found this one, and again, the Bumblebee and the Bumblebee Hive. They all just so pretty. I just thought they were very, very kind of, I don't know, this one kind of made me feel woodsy. <laughs> but it looks like this. And it's just so beautiful. Look at this. And you get two sheets in each pack of all these cute little stickers that can, you could use in your planners. The crafters can go crazy with this stuff, you know. And then you have the little border down here on the um, bottom. 
What was the border down on this one? No border. Oh yeah, they had this one had a side border. If you could see the side border, I'll put it this way. So isn't that gorgeous? For a dollar twenty-five for two of these, I don't know who this company is, but I know a lot of people were making a big, big deal out of it, and I was like, well, we haven't seen them, and this is more like the spring time where you're getting ready to do your your gardens, but I just love that they represented the bees in all of them. So this one looks like this. We got the little garden boots, and we got honey dripping like in a heart. More butterflies, and this one looks like this. So I thought these were so cute. So I got that one. I know, I know. This is the last of it. I was able to find that was left, and this is kind of like really my style. This is just, again, for perfect for my journals, you know. So this one looks like this, and it has all these little calendar reminders, things like that, cameras, glasses, like your desk. So, yeah, and like I said, you get two sheets, and this one comes with the gold gold heart border. So I'm going to turn it like that so you can see this is the gold heart border that it comes with. And what did we say this one had? Oh, this one came with two, y'all. Look. This one came with two borders. So perfect for your journals. You know? And all these crafty people can make fantastic things out of this stuff. And then the last two items in that collection that I found was this paper craft set. And it tells you the dimensions. It's just a paper craft set, two times die cut paper, two times 8.5 by 11 inch double sided pattern paper, and you get two times 5.83 times 8.27 inch double sided pattern paper. So this is really, really cool. Then on this side it says eight times paper tags, one times sticker sheet. And one times rope and banner. So this is all the stuff that you get in this collection right here. I was just like, oh my goodness, I was tarny to the party, y'all. Zebulon is, is like 54 minutes away from me, you know. And it's not a trip that I take too often since they redid the store. They have not been as nice <laughs> with the new items as they were before but here's some of the tags and the jute twine in the bottom that's right there so as you can see this is really really nice for a dollar 25 to get all that for you crafty people you know i don't know what i'm going to do with this stuff we'll see but then i found this one and these were the only two i could find and this one says with foil. Oh, they both say with foil. Okay. So I'm missing things here. All right. This one says with foil and it pretty much the same thing. So you get the die cut paper two times the um, sided pattern paper. Ooh, that's pretty. And then the double sided pattern paper, the one times rope and banners, the one time sticker sheet and paper tags. So this one looks like this, <clears throat> and that's where I miss it, where it says, with foil, okay? And these are so cute, y'all. I looked at the back of this thing, and I was just like, it's got like the animal print, the leopard and zebra print, and whatever that is behind it, okay? And then you have all of this down here, and wait until you see when I turn it over. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this, y'all. What is that? What do they call that? Um, today is wild and it's yours. Today is wild and it's yours. It's what it says. What do we call those? Not a lima, is it? I don't know what. I forgot the name of this, this animal. But that's the way that back looks. And this back just looks like a chalkboard. Like this. 
So yeah, I was pretty happy to find these few little items in that new collection. I really, really hope that we get it here in my area so that I can get the bus and the kitty cat for my girl Odessa. But I was happy they had this one and they had the rainbow in Zebulon. That's all of the stamps that was left, okay? And I'm not a Yorkie fan, but I like that crown. So, <laughs> and a dog is a dog is a dog. And y'all know I love dogs. All right, coming up, what you saw in the thumbnail, and this video will okay, be Okay, my sweet. I've showed this in a short, and I think I put it on Facebook, and a couple of people were like, <coughs> excuse me, were like they heard that it's, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, y'all, I got the fan on, but a lot of, a uh, few people, not a lot, a few people were saying that they heard that it didn't smell very good, well, like I said before, different strokes for different folks because it smelled really, really good to me. This is a 3.5 ounce bonus size of the Beauty and Skin Care Power Stick for Her Body Spray in Paradise Free Breeze. Excuse me, Paradise Breeze. It says with um, notes of black amber plum and vanilla woods. And it has all these little, what it's free of and everything, but... I thought it smelled wonderful. And as soon as I read some of those comments, I was like, it's not, it wasn't lying. I think it was like maybe one or two people said that they heard that it really didn't smell good. But honey, I like it. I really, really like this. I think I actually like it better than the first two. But yeah, it smelled really good to me. So I like I said again, different strokes for different folks. But I did pick up two. And when the last time I was at the Small Dollar Tree, they had a couple more cans left. I have not seen it. Ooh, that smells nice, y'all. Oh, and it waves. What is wrong? Oh, my God. That smells so good. <laughs> and it lingers. So I'm, I'm still smelling it. But, yeah, I picked up two so far. One for my sister, Nettie, and one for me, you know. And I'm hoping to find some more. I don't know if um, Odessa might like one of these or not. I'm not really sure, but I'll have to find out because when I saw them um, the last time I was at the Small Dollar Tree, they only had a couple of them left. But that is it for today, my sweets. It feels so good to be rested. <laughs> I hope I look a little bit better than I did yesterday because I know I was tired yesterday, but love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video out. Tell your friends. Tell your family. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.